Let's be honest, these long, dark days can really start to wear on us, right? But there are some simple and cost effective ways to beat the winter blues and also get a dose of happy. Tonight, our Hannah Ferreira taking us on a short trip to the tropics. Stephanie Whitaker is visiting the Buffalo Botanical Gardens for the first time. Actually, I'd love to come here with a book someday and just sit on one of the benches and read because it's so nice and it's so peaceful and it's just so nice and warm in here. And Whitaker isn't the only one looking to beat the current winter blues. There's a ton of people that come here to just unwind and, you know, sit down, maybe even just bring a book, bring some snacks and just really relax. I think everybody's feeling, you know, just a little slow and to be able to come somewhere so tropical, so warm and surrounded by such beautiful nature, it can really help to lift your spirits. These colder months can sometimes bring colder mindsets and director of counseling services at University at Buffalo, Sharon and Mitchell um, says rightfully so, so when it's darker out and the days are shorter, um, our bodies produce more melatonin, which is a sleep hormone. So you may have people who just feel a little sleepier or maybe a little more irritable than usual. Now, the first day of spring isn't until late March. So unfortunately, the flowers like the ones you just saw inside are not going to be outside anytime soon. But there are a couple steps you can take to keep yourself in a sunny mood until then. It's just like really trying to find small, manageable, but meaningful um, things to do um, that kind of put you in a different state. It makes you feel better to spend time with friends, even though you may be feeling less <laughs> friendly. That's when you need to make the effort and say, I'm going to call somebody or text somebody today and say, let's get together for coffee. In other words, small trips like the one Whitaker took to the Botanical Garden can make a big difference. You feel more revived. You feel a little bit of hope that spring's really just around the corner. Hannah Ferreira, 7 News.